Sam. Look, Mum, no computer here. And me, Cosmo. Before we get into the nitty gritty of this video, I wanted you to know that in Berlin on the 5th of May, I'm going to be there with some of my machines and this, doing some playing. It's the same weekend as Superbooth, so if you're over for that, come and check it out. There's some information in the description. A couple of months ago, I did a video on the safety valve, which is a bare bones distortion module adapted from the infamous Valvecaster, which is a DIY distortion guitar pedal with a valve in it. And yeah, when you adjust it for synthesizers, it sounds pretty gnarly. I'll just put the valve back in. Ooh. Safety valve engage. And since that video, Glasgow Makes Some Noise has actually developed it into a DIY Eurorack project. So you can make it for your Eurorack synthesizer. On the Glasgow Makes Some Noise website, there's the list of components that you need. And there's also a mouser bill of materials, which you can purchase. So you've got all the bits that you need anyway. And when it all turns up, you can finally get soldering. So here we have it, two diodes, a handful of resistors and a handful of capacitors to go with those two. We got one IC, a couple of thingamajiggies and then some potentiometers, the valve, the PCB and the panel. God, look at all of that. Just make sure you've got it all, so double check first and then you start soldering in. Starting with the diodes because they're, you know, big and you want to get them the right way around. And then you go and put all of those resistors in. There's not many, so it should be really quick. Just double check with the list that you've put them all in the right place and then carry on over to the capacitors. The ceramic ones can be put in any way you want but then you want to look at the electrolytic ones and take note of the white stripe because they will only go one way or they won't work. Now solder in the IC socket making sure it's the right way around and pop in that IC. After the power header pop in the potentiometers in the jack socket but don't solder them because you might not get the panel on. So then put the panel on and then after that you can finally solder them and they'll just stay in place like that and they're in the right place so it's all good and dandy now it's time to solder in the valve it's being soldered in so the module isn't too tall and you know if you close your briefcase on your Eurorack and you smash your valve that wouldn't be the happy days at all would it now just put on the knobs double check you've done everything right and it should be done and working i mean how easy was that that was pretty damn simple and it looks lovely mm, like an ice cream sundae on a sunday Mm, yes. So it's completed. It was very quick to put together. I mean, even if you're not 100% sure what you're doing, it would only take an hour, maybe, at max. Now let's plop it in your Eurorack synthesizer of choice. And I'm going to use these Nerlies by Bafarco to screw it in. These are just screws you can twist in, so bye-bye to screwdrivers. The first thing to note is this is a bare bones module. It's nowhere near as complex as something like a Metasonics valve module. I've quickly put together a bass synth. And then the magic. <laughs> So go and check these out on the Glasgow Make Some Noise website. There's a link in the description. I'm giving two assembled ones of these modules away on my Patreon, so go and check that out. Also, if I'm not mistaken, it's Friday the 13th tomorrow, which might be quite a superstitious date, but it's also the date of this month's Patreon live stream, which we'll be having a chat. I'll be talking about some upcoming projects as well as playing some music. So if you want to see that, there's some links in the descriptions for that too. Thanks very much, Thomas Weidemann, for these Furbies. I'm going to make sure that I make use of these. They're beautiful. Thank you. 
and thank you Paul Schneider for these lovely I've never even seen these things before what the heck but it's time to circuit bend them and Kool-Aid I've never actually had Kool-Aid before Oh, this is Veronica in Dream. Thank you very much for the limited edition Lilac Furby. I've never had one of these before. Look how beautiful its fur is. It's so beautiful. But it's also got a sinister side. Anyway, that's bye from me. I'm going to leave you with Rupert, the foxy plant. And yeah, see you next time. All right, how's it going? I'm uh, Rupert, Rupert the Foxy Plant. That's me. What I lack in arms and legs and other limbs and appendages, I make up with musical genius. That's the truth. So yeah, uh, I've been lucky enough for Sam to have wired me up to play as synthesizer via the Instruocyon, which is actually a plant interface. So I was lucky enough for that, thank God, for that to be around because now I can really show you what I can do. So all of the work that requires hands and things has already been done for me. So all I need to do is think of my happy place, which is a pasture in Cornwall, far away from any cows that might like the taste of me. So yeah, this Instruo Scion lets me control four whole control voltages and four gates out. So I could control anything I damn well want to, but I've been wired up to control control this Sputnik modular delay, some spring reverb, couple of distortions, envelope generators, or generator, I can't even say it. But yeah, I can just really let my creativity run free. But yeah, uh, if you really want to hear the full one of this, I've done a whole goddamn half an hour of it. Uh, I think you could download it from Sam's Patreon. Anyway, I'm just gonna go play now, so see you later.